ones that are, for example, on this baseball bat. Right, that's telling you the rotation. So you can see how here's you have the rotation of that gosh and it's moving. So it's not like you have the same 3D Gaussian that's just kind of like staying at the same rotation and just moving like this in XYZ. It's like the, the almost like the Gaussian is correctly stuck to the object and giving you that full sixed off tracking. Okay, differentiable rendering via Gaussian 3D splatting. In order to optimize the parameters of our Gaussian to represent the scene, we need to render the Gaussians into images in a differential differentiable manner, right? You need to be differentiable or else you're not going to be able to chain rule and you're not going to be able to push gradients.